Welcome into the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Ariel Epstein with SportsGrid. Joining me, Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. Tom, thanks for joining us today. I'm doing good. We have an interesting slate, you know, late in the season, plenty of injuries. Let's jump right to it. Especially, you, you left out, it's not just about injuries, it's about suspended players. Will Fuller, the wide receiver for the Texans, is out for the season after violating the NFL substance abuse policy, which means we have to look elsewhere on the board. And that's exactly what you're doing. You like Kiki QT for the Texans at $4,800 on Fandle this week. Why? It's not only about Will Fuller. The Texans also released Kenny Stills, and this leaves their wide receiver core a little bit thin. Now, over the past two weeks, we have seen Kute play 57 and 50 percent of the snaps, which was third highest on the team behind, of course, Fuller and Cook. So this should naturally elevate him to the number two wide receiver. This game against the Colts, it's good. It's not great in terms of defensive matchup, but it has a 51 and a half point over under a three and a half point spread. So we should see a back and forth game. And at forty eight hundred dollars, he doesn't have to do a whole lot to pay off salary. I like that a lot, especially because the Texans run game is bottom five in the NFL. They have to rely on the pass, a top five passing offense, the Houston Texans this year in the NFL. The next player you're going to, this one is a shocker to me. The Patriots running back James White, $5,700 on FanDuel. How come you're choosing White out of this loaded Patriots backfield? Yeah, the New England backfield has always been interesting to break down from a fantasy perspective. And I know he scored two touchdowns last week. He didn't see a whole lot of total touches. But this game against the Chargers, I think, is really interesting. It's a game that I have a ton of interest in overall. I think it's going to hit the over. I think it's at 47 points right now. I really like it. So we look at the Chargers defense. They have allowed the ninth fewest rushing attempts to opposing running backs. That's because their offense can score and they're getting in these higher scoring games. Opposing you know, offenses can't really sit back and run the ball. So they have to be passing. Now, we look at the other options in the Patriots uh, backfield. We have Sonny Michelle and we have Damian Harris. They have a combined seven total targets on the season. They are not pass catching running backs. We look at the Chargers defense now for uh, against running backs. They've allowed the seventh most receptions and seventh most targets to opposing running backs. They really can't stop pass catching running backs. So we want to be looking to James White in this spot because what should be based on the game script with a one point spread. The Pats aren't going to have a massive lead and just be able to pound the ball. They need the pass catching running back. They need James White out there. That Patriots game at the Chargers, still a pick em. Patriots favored at minus one on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Let's keep it here with some more fantasy. You're going with the wide receiver from the Jets in Denzel Mims. He's had 30% of the target shares this month for the Jets. How come you like Mims this week? Yeah, 30%, like you said, I think that's very encouraging, especially for a rookie. Missed the beginning portion of the season due to the hamstring injury. 23 total targets over the past three weeks, I think, is great. Uh, it really didn't matter that Sam Darnold came back in last week. It's going to be Flacco. It's going to be Darnold. They're going to be getting him the targets. This sets up to be a positive game script for the Jets. They're seven and a half or eight point underdogs going up against the Raiders, who are allowing 30.9 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's the 14th worst in the league. So we have a receiver, I want to say, is independent, uh, you know, ind independently producing fantasy points, regardless who's that quarterback. They're facing a weak defense. They have a positive game script. He's under $6,000. Uh, I like Mims this week. The Jets taking on the Vegas Raiders after the Raiders just got blown out 46-3 to the Atlanta Falcons. Thanks so much for Tom Vecchio. I'm Ariel Epstein. That is your FanDuel Hurry Up.